This man has come to the synagogue church of all nations with a problem of enlarged prostate for the past four years and is using a catheter. This is the catheter connected to his manhood to enable him pass urine. And without the use of this catheter, it will be very difficult for him to urinate. He is here believing that Jesus Christ, the great physician, will heal and set him free. My name is Nicholas, Nicholas Enne. My age is 50 years. I'm from Enugu State. You are very welcome. Tell us, what is the problem that brought you here today? What, what brought me today in the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Difficult to urinate and large prostate and I'm using catheter. You mean you're having enlarged prostate and you're using a catheter? Yes. For how many years have you been suffering from this problem? I'm suffering from this problem, let's say four, four years, four years now. Tell us how has this problem affected your life? It affected my life too much that I can't go out and sleep somebody's house and I can't take much water in the night and I can't, you know, deprive me pressure and painful for me. Tell us please, uh, where have you been in search of solution for this problem? Well, I go to many hospitals, there's no solution. I go to churches, they pray for me. Hospitals, up to two to three hospitals, no solution. Now that you are here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, what do you believe God will do for you? I believe that this, this place is the last bus stop. And I believe my God will hear me forever. Amen. We also believe in you that God Almighty will deliver you and will set you free permanently from this problem of enlarged prostate in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua praying for the people at the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line. In Jesus Christ's name. Among them is Mr. Nicholas Ene. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for him in the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Here is Mr. Nicholas Ene back to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to share his wonderful testimony. The screen on the left side shows how he came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a problem of enlarged prostate and was using a catheter. And on the right side shows him completely healed without the need to use the catheter. Glory be to God, Mr. Nicholas can now live his life freely without the use of a catheter. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and delivering me and setting me free. Say you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself and share with us your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas. And that's my wife. Uh, what brought me for Synagogue Church of All Nations is prostate enlargement. My brothers and sisters, the things trouble me that if I want to urinate, I feel, I feel difficult to urinate on the past catheter for me. So one day I wake up in the morning, I can't get myself. I went back out my bedroom again, come out again, I can't get myself. They rushed me to hospital. So they put catheter before I pass through urine. So many things continue disturbing me for many years. So from hospital to hospital, to I reach up to four to five hospitals. So doctors say that I went to operation. I said, no, I won't go to operation. Before my first cousin told me about Synagogue Church of All Nations, I told doctor, I won't, make, I won't go to operation. That I will go to Synagogue Church of All Nations because I know that if I step my toes in this arena of liberty, that I will be heard and I will feel. So to God be the glory, I'm opportune to enter prayer line. To God be the glory. So the time the man of God comes out, Oh, I feel it inside me. Oh, I say, God, today is my day that I will have my healing and, set me, and my God will set me free. So when one of God comes to me and 
say you are free. Imagine you say you are free. I'm not. I'm like say shock, electric shock. I say God, today is the day I'm waiting for. So immediately I step two legs. That cut it up, pull out. Oh, I say Daddy, thank you. Since that day, I can unite fine, sleep like a baby, wake up like a baby. If that night, if I want to wake up at any time, when I wake up, I unite like a, a man. So thank God, thank God today that I'm healed and I'm delivered. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So say, explain to us, how many years were you experiencing this problem of prostate enlargement? Uh, four years now. How was it affecting your marriage, your social life, and everything that had to do with your life? Yeah, it affected me too much because I can't, in the night, I can't take a cup of water because if I know what I'm facing in the night. I can't take a cup of water and uh, I can't, the thing deprived me many places I can know I can sleep, even though if I travel, self, I won't travel because of pains. But right now, how are you feeling now? How has your life changed since your healing? Oh, since the uh, uh, 17th of October, my sister, my brothers here, I'm very happy inside my spirit. I'm healed and I'm free and I'm delivered because now I can sleep. I can, in the night now, I can take a, 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 a table water too now because when I wake up, I unite like a man supposed to unite. So I'm very happy and I'm healed and I'm delivered. I'm free. Amen. Indeed, this shows that there's never a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal and never a burden he cannot bear. So say there are many people who've come here today in anticipation of Jesus Christ touching their lives. What advice can you give to them today? Oh, the advice I'm giving to them now. Let them have belief. Trust in God. I have that faith. When one of God comes out now, Man, they will see the experience I'm experiencing that on seventeenth, and they'll have a, their healing. I believe as God healed me on seventeenth, that makes me not to stand in many of people and uh, inside this uh, uh, prayer line and testify what God will do for me. I hope and I believe that God will do for them in Jesus' name. Amen. My husband has said it all. I am thanking God for what He has done in His life. In fact, for that four years. It is not a day. We pass a lot of things. Maybe at night like this, I'll be thinking, maybe holding myself, mm, this attack might come. That faithful day being on Wednesday on 16th, when he waked up, he, I, I'm going out to, oh, how about you? He said he didn't know how the body was doing him. Now we rushed him to hospital. Even there's uh, many hospitals we went, they rejected him that he should go to operation. But then, he said he has faith. He said he cannot go operation. Even me as a woman, I said, let's go to this uh, doctor to know whether if it is true operation. He said, I cannot go. If I have faith, healed him. I am very happy that my husband he is healed totally. Even he sleep like a baby. I wake up before him now. Initially, he doesn't sleep. He keep vigil every day over that four years. I thank God for today. He's healed. So, sir, right now we want you to show all these people sitting down here, exercise your body, and show them the things that you couldn't do before that you can do now to show them. Just walk up and down to show them. Nous voulons entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui est venu avec un problème de la prostate, l'élargissement de la prostate, portait un cathéter, ne pouvait pas uriner. Il ne pouvait pratiquement plus rien faire, il était toujours faible, allongé. Il avait même à cause des douleurs justement qu'il avait au niveau de la prostate, portant son cathéter. Il pouvait à peine dormir pendant la nuit. Il a dit qu'il a été partout chercher des solutions, mais il n'y avait pas de, de solutions permanentes à son cas, jusqu'à ce qu'il y ait une synagogue église de toutes les nations. Et qu'il conçoit de la prière de l'homme de Dieu, prophète Tibi Oshua. aujourd'hui, il revient pour donner la gloire à Dieu qu'il est complètement libre. Il a maintenant, maintenant enlevé son cathéter, il peut maintenant uriner librement, comme nous l'avons sur la, la vidéo, il est complètement guéri. Y yo no sé, Dios, acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de este caballero que vino a la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones con el problema de agrandamiento de la próstata. Debido a su, caso, a su caso, que era tan grave, tuvo que usar un catete debido a que ya no podía orinar normalmente. Los doctores le recomendaron que tenía que someterse a una operación quirúrgica, el cual él rechazó. Y creyendo, vino a la sinagoga a recibir oración donde el hombre de Dios, el profeta Tibi Joshua, oró por él en el poder del Espíritu Santo, haciéndolo libre de esa aflicción de agrandamiento de la próstata para la gloria de Dios. Dice que solamente 
solamente unos dos pasos que dio después de que recibió oración y ese catete salió por sí solo y vino ahora a dar testimonio de la gloria de Dios en su vida. Continuamos. Amen. So we just saw the brother showing people the things that he couldn't do before that he can do now. So say we want to advise you so that since you've been healed by God's word, make sure that you go and make God's word the standard for your life so that this miracle that you've received, you will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, by healing me and delivering me and setting me free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, by healing me, delivering me and setting me free. Thank you, Jesus. 